Hi, my name is Dexter, and you are now watching The VA Life. I would like to share to you my story on how I got my first laptop. Basically, in order for you to start a virtual assistant role, you will need a laptop or any computer and an internet connection. Those are only the two things that you will need in order for you to start your VA career. Before I got my first laptop, I worked at a call center company called Concentrix. That is the first experience that I was able to work on a graveyard shift. It's pretty difficult at first, but I was able to get used to it. Later on, I was able to meet Louise. My problem before was that I cannot save enough money in order for me to buy a decent laptop. Working as a call center agent, only provides me enough money in order to sustain my shelter, food, and clothing. Nothing else. Like, the things that you want are totally absent. It's, it's, it's all just in my imagination. Louise and I came up into an idea to sell cheesecakes. Right. Even though that we, both of us, has no talent in baking, we were able to look for a recipe or ingredient in, in the internet and we were able to bake some cheesecakes. On her free time, Louise will sell her cheesecakes to her friends and classmates in her school dormitory, while on, on my end, I can sell my cheesecakes to my colleagues inside the company. After a couple of months of selling cheesecakes, we were able to raise money and buy ourselves our personal computers. Now, your computer doesn't really need to be a powerful one. For me, the standard is to get at least 2 gigabytes of RAM and an i3 or any cheap AMD processor. I am currently using a 4 gigabit RAM of computer so that there will be less lag or hanging each time I do my work. Now it doesn't need to be a PC or a laptop, but if you're looking forward to, you know, travel while working at the same time, then I suggest that you get your own laptop. Well, in my case, I was able to buy a laptop and a PC while working as a BA. So that when I travel, I will just bring my laptop with me and continue to work. And when I get home, I can always use my PC. And not to mention, all of my games are saved in my PC. So that's basically a case-to-case -case basis. You can always choose any brand, by the way. So the only important thing is that you will have your personal computer with you so that you can start to work online anytime. And we also have this handy dandy pocket Wi-Fi in order for us to use whenever we go outside the house. Once you have your trustworthy computer, you will need to find a very good internet service provider or ISP. We are currently subscribed to Sky Cable with three Mbps maximum as the peak download speed. However, as you move forward and advance throughout your virtual assistant career, you may need to get a better internet connection. I suggest that you will get a fiber connection in order for you to have a very reliable internet connection speed. All right, so that's basically it. The very first thing that you need to get is your laptop or any computer and an internet service provider or ISP. Once you get those two things and you are now ready to become a virtual assistant, now all you need to do is to find a good client. And we'll tackle that on the next subject. Thank you very much for watching my video and listening to my story on how I got my first laptop. If you're an individual who wants to get your first virtual assistant career and you don't know how to do it, 
click on this box on my right in order for you to learn more about how to become a virtual assistant. If you are a person who has a business or is interested in hiring virtual assistants, click this link on my left in order for you to know more about how to get your first virtual assistant. Once again, my name is Dexter and we will see you on our next episode.